Hi guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to look at one of the coolest features of the Rodecaster Pro, the phone connectivity. Traditionally, recording phone interviews has been quite difficult to do, but with the Rodecaster Pro, it's actually now really easy. Simply connect your phone to the Rodecaster Pro either via Bluetooth or using a TRRS connector cable. To pair the Rodecaster Pro to your phone, just hold down the Bluetooth button. On screen, you'll be prompted to pair the Rodecaster Pro to a smartphone, tablet, or computer. Just tap on yes. From here, the Rodecaster Pro is now discoverable, so you can select it as the device from the Bluetooth settings on your phone. To connect a phone to the TRRS jack on the Rodecaster Pro, you will need a TRRS to TRRS cable. That's a cable that has three lines on it at both ends. Simply plug one end of it into your phone and the other into the Rodecaster Pro. And that's it. Dial the person that you want to interview and they'll be able to hear you and your guests when you speak into the microphones, but they won't hear themselves echoing back through the call. You can adjust the level that their voice appears in your podcast using the phone or Bluetooth faders. And you can even have two guests joining your podcast by connecting two phones, one on Bluetooth and one via the TRRS cable. Here's a pro tip. You can often get better sound quality for your phone interviews by using a communications app such as Slack or Line, as opposed to using a conventional cell phone call. So try out a few options with your interviewee in advance to see which one will sound the most natural in your podcasts. Just remember that you can't use the USB input to bring a Skype or other call into your podcast because the USB input is set up for recording, not for interviews. If you want to use Skype to interview someone, then connect your laptop into the Rodecaster Pro via Bluetooth instead. Thanks guys, and happy podcasting.